Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and uh, we're going to continue our Worlds 1 playthrough, but we're kind of going to be doing an interrupted version. Um, a query was made, a comment, if you will, was made in regards to my um, base and how kind of, you know, thrown together it was. It wasn't really a very good uh, and accurate base, if you will. It's, it's not a base really you want to set up camp on. So I got thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what, they've got a good point here. Maybe we need to do an episode where we're going to create a base that is going to be, rather than just haphazardly thrown together, let's put some pride into it. That's what this episode's going to be. Now, in order to get started, one thing I like to do is, of course, we, we I like to have a paradise planet. We've got one of those. Got a couple of those, actually. Um, but in order to do so, I usually like to find a minor settlement, as you know, because it gives access to many different items that we can get at the terminal in there, trading, things like that. It really gives us a good uh, starting point, if you will. But in order to do so, I can't scan for one right now because Apollo wants to talk to me. So let's get past the communication with Apollo. Uh, I wasn't going to record this, but I have to for storyline purposes. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroy will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. And communication. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment into our partnership. Okay. So we now have a personal force field we can build. But who cares? We're not doing that right now. We'll worry about that later. So what we're up to is we need to find some place to go. Now, um, what I'm going to do first, before I do anything on this planet, I know we have two different places that we can go to. Um, two different paradise planets that we found. There's this one here, and the space station for it is really pretty far away if you think about it. Yeah, see, 45 seconds to get there. Um, we have another system where we found a nice um, paradise planet at. So I'm going to check out that paradise planet real quick, and I just want to decide which one we're going to make into our main base. And we're going to create a functional, laid-out, nice base. That's what we're doing this episode. Are we going to do it within an hour? Probably not. Probably not. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to go back and forth between the base that I had before and this one and start moving things over. Because one thing that you really want with a base is you want it personally. This is my personal sentiment. You personally want to be close to your space station. You want to be close to things that you need. Hopefully they didn't find anything on board. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So the cargo authority is found. Let's head into the space station. We're going to check out the portal real quick in here. I could have just went to hyperspace and checked things out, but I'm going to do it this way. Another thing, too, that someone else brought out in another episode, um, and I did forget about this, as you go up to the exosuit guy over here, I mean, granted, this one becomes empty and you can't do anything with it anymore. But the technology merchants, they, you know, have some decent technology in there, and you find something that's S-Class that you like. Let's say you really like this, uh, I don't know, this thermal protection here, but you need a few of them. Well, you don't have to leave the system to make it reset. You can just reload. That's all you have to really do. And they're right. You know, go to your ship, get a save point, reload real quick. It reappears in there. So, also a good tidbit of information for those of you just starting out, if you really found some good stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's go to the portal, check it out. Um, I know we made a base on the other planet. Here, here, second set paradise planet. Let's check this out real quick and take a look at it. I don't think there's anything more than a base computer there. Because I remember landing here and going, thinking to myself, oh, this would make a nice planet to go to. But we never did anything with it. So let me see, does this one have bubbles or flowers? I don't quite remember. It was a few episodes ago. And in your time, it may just be one week at a time. In me, that was probably many, many more weeks than you might imagine. Yeah, any time now will appear. Don't hold my breath, right? 
There we go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No flowers or anything here. We don't have any floating islands. I'm not as keen about the floating islands as I used to be. I've seen some people do some wacky stuff with it, and, you know, good on them. But, yeah, I don't really need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off from this planet, and I'm going to do an economy scan. I want to find myself... Actually, let's... I know this is a waste of energy, but I'm going to go ahead and land one more time. I'm going to pick up the base computer. We don't need this base here. Oh, beautiful water and sky. Yeah, I, now I remember why I like this planet. So we're going to delete the base. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is going to be nice. I love the water here. This is very, very pretty. Okay. Back to our ship. Off we go. So, you know, half the battle is trying to find yourself a decent planet to go to, right? Uh, let me see. Trade outpost. So that is a regular outpost, is it? Okay, that's just a trading post. We didn't find a minor settlement. What we should do is we should look for... That's pretty far away, isn't it? Uh, let's go out into space. I don't think we need to pulse drive to it, but I think if we just go up here, it'll take us a very short amount of time. Wow, look how pretty this place is. In the space station... Let me just see something here. Yeah, actually, the space station alone is is right on the other side of this planet. So this is great. This is going to be great. This will work out just fine. You know, and I, I picture us doing a little fishing village on here, too. Maybe we can do both. Maybe we can get a nice minor settlement nearby the water. That would work out. That would work out nicely. Now, this is just a regular trading post. I need to find a minor settlement. So as we come in, actually nightfall might make it easier to find. Okay, we came in through the atmosphere a little too quick. Because I've got to la I'm going to have to land there to get it off my radar. Here it comes. Yeah, I know I could have pulsed driven there. It could have got me there much quicker. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> All right. All right, so it should pop up into being. There it is. I just need to land. You get acknowledgement. We'll run out to the, onto the platform too. Okay. One second. There it is. Okay, we got it. Okay. So I'm just going to take a quick look around look for that. So we're looking at buildings anywhere in the vicinity. So that should work out. Let's go ahead and head that direction and we'll do a little bit of scouting. I know this is kind of the boring part and that was mentioned as well. That it, you know This is the part that could be really boring. It can be. You're absolutely right. Alright, so they have a landing pad but this is not exactly what we're looking for, right? But we're heading in a southerly direction so we're going to head that direction. We're on the ley line here. So that means we should find, hopefully, what we're looking for here soon. Not going to go too, too quick. Keep scanning. We should be able to find some stuff here soon. Wow, okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of nothing. Oh, there you go. Right there. Right there. I'd say that's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. We're even near the water. That is fabulous. Look at that. That could not have landed any better. Look at this. Let's take a look. Go over here. All right. So we can really do have some fun here. We even can, we could build up there if we wanted to. Let's go to the other side. I want to take a look over here now. Wow. Look at those underwater plants all glowing out there. Um, I think we found what we're looking for. I think we found what we're looking for. This looks fantastic. We have a minor, set, minor settlement here nearby in order to be able to, uh, to build upon. Do we want to go out on the peninsula instead? Out that way, under the shadow? I don't think so. But over here might be just as pretty. Yeah, we even got the underwater plants over there too. That looks like a nice spot right down there. I think I like that better. 
and I've turned down my graphics. I don't know if any of you have noticed this or not, but as it pops in, there we go. Just to make things a little bit easier. Hmm. Even got ourselves a little uh, cut out right there. It's not so much finding the perfect spot. Like we even have an island out there. We can do. We can. We can put our base on. That would be pretty cool to have an island base. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this water is not very deep at all. So for fishing purposes, it may not work for us. Yeah, accidentally started standing. That's how shallow the water was. Uh oh. Splat. <laughs> That worked out. So what do we think? What do we think? We've got a minus minor settlement right there. It doesn't have to be far. Hey, buddy. What it is, is I get a feel for things. I start looking around and checking things out, and I start realizing, oh, this would be a good spot. Like, see, I look out over there, and I see there's a big lake out that way. And that makes me kind of excited for what we're looking for here. There's even another building right there. I'll check out see what that is, too. Because I like this big lake over here. This is nice. Careful. I don't want that guy to jump at me. Well, really? Only 30,000? Now, you know what? This isn't a... Uh, this isn't a permadeath no starter ship challenge where you get that within the first hour. Alright. Let's sit up and check out this building to see what this is. Okay, this is a uh, one of those. Yeah, we got to be careful of that. All right. So I'm kind of liking the fact that we're out in the water over here. This would be pretty cool. Although being close by the minor settlement has its advantages. It's a very tough choice. This is when we need to do a live stream. This is when we need to do a live stream on this. Have you all come to a decision with me on this. I do like it out there too. That's kind of a nice lake. It's a, not as big. But I bet you it does get deep out there too. So. As much as I like the other side, I'm going to stick with this side, I think. Alright. So. As you can see, I didn't just drop down a base computer and just get started, right? It's part of of, you know, when you want to create something for yourself, for your character, that you can get some things done here. There's another building up that way. I am going to check it out and just see what it's got. We have that lovely oxygen patch right there. Save that for an emergency one day. Look at all this level land right here. And I think that's the best part about these. Is you, get, you get some nice level land right over here on the edge. Away from this thing. Yet it can be, you know, still yours, if you will. Let's just see what this building is. Okay, just a little, uh, oh, it's a trading. It's a trading uh, terminal there. Okay. Trade terminal. There we go. Zooming in sometimes brings it into full full circle. So that gives us the benefit of having a secondary trade terminal over here, too. All right, good. A little park. Bring it down. There we go. All right, I like the idea of building right over here, having the water nearby, because we still are well within range. Um, we don't have the ability to look for a uh, magnetic field or anything like that. We don't have a surveying scope. Um, 
we should probably do that. How are we doing on nanites? We've got about four grand. Uh, let's see. All right, let's drop our base computer down here. And we're going to build our base right here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I keep all my chromatic metal on my ship. Starship, there we go. Uh, let's see. We should always keep some on our exosuit here. So we had them. Okay, back over here. Right on the edge, right here. And we can move the base computer later, but for now. I'm gonna clean that base. So now we can come back to it anytime we want. Look at that view, too. So the lake on the left is nice and big. The one out towards the top right, around 1, 2 o'clock up there, is actually goes out further. But this will work out really, really nice. All right. So we're going to rename this base. And I am going to name it... Obviously, I want to have my name in here. That is completely wrong. Shift button down. So we want my name in here. Master Base. I think that's what we'll call it for now. We can always name it something different later on. Okay, and we're going to be building over here. So we need to get some things ready. So I'm going to take a quick jaunt up to the anomaly. And I'm going to get myself some building materials. Now some of these things we would acquire through the regular means of going through the... Up the uh, main storyline, but most of these we will not be. We should have enough nanites to get what we need. Um, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, we got upgrades, we got repair kits. Oh, 30 of them. We have 30 salvage data on us. It should be enough to get what I'm looking for, I think. Pretty sure. Dude, we're already more than 15 minutes into this, and I haven't even started yet, have I? Oh, hey, the community milestone got reached this past weekend. That's fantastic. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so we want to start over here. Construction research. Uh, I don't build things out of these very often, so I'm going to hold off on that. I do need some of this. Uh, specifically, I need the cuboid frame. So I have to buy some of these. I just bought something else, too. And that one. Okay. I don't really use the rest of these things too often, so I'm going to just hold off on the rest. Uh, let's see. I need... Do I need anything out of here? I don't really think so. We've got our landing pad. The altern alternative landing pads are not something I use on a regular basis. Uh, let's see. Medium. we got already got a larger refiner that we can build. We'll be taking that with us. All right, lighting. Hmm. I do like the floor lighting. If you can get it just right, that works out nicely. But you know, they've got some other lighting in this cosmetic lighting that is really, really cool. Uh, let's keep going through here. I'm not going to worry about the accoutrements yet. I want specifically to look for some lights. There we go. All right, so we got the lamp post, which I do. I do actually like this a lot. Let's see, table lamp, wall lamp, wall lights. Okay, so let's get the lantern. Uh, we'll need the wall light, because those are very good for lighting purposes. I'm going to hold off on the rest of this, because I'm going to save my salvage data for other things, because I want this. Fuel electromagnetic. Uh, we don't need any of the rest of these just yet. Plants we'll get later. Okay. So, what are we going to build our base out of? Do we want timber, stone, or alloy? Is really what it boils down to. I do like the stone a lot. I am so favorable towards the timber, to be honest with you. It looks so much better to me. Because I guess I like log cabins and things like this. But I especially like their triple windows. Uh, it gives so much more lighting than some of the rest of these do. Like, the best they have is they have this narrow window here, and that's about it for the stone. 
and for the alloys, you know, you barely have anything. So let's stick to this one, and we're going to be spending some of the salvage data we've got. I do have more back at my other base, but we'll see how much I can get here. That's the wrong one. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, let's keep going. So I want to get that one. Let's see, it's over here. Are we going to have enough to get this? We do. Barely. Leaves us with two. Alright, so what do we got? Kind of like this one as far as my main door is concerned. That's fine. We'll need arches. We're going to need a lot more. So I'm going to go back and get my salvage data. Uh, we do want that, but it's not going to be enough right now. Get that. And the half ramp for now. Alright, we'll come back and get more later. Uh, what else do we need? Um, we've already taken up that exosuit upgrade. We don't need any research there. Okay, we will return. Okay. I know we have more back in our cargo containers at our other base. So we'll get that in a minute. go. Alright, and we'll come back. So let's get our base started. We got enough uh, elements to get our base moving along. Yeah, see we're really close by the ocean here. This is really good. I don't think we're going to get rid of that unknown building anytime soon, right? Yeah, because I already scouted that one out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this will be nice. Let's use the landing pad, of course, obviously. And then when we build our cargo containers, we'll have access to all that. Alright, so I'm actually going to start building right here. Now, here's the thing. I want to build this up just a little bit. I do want to take a look around. I don't have my survey. That's what I needed. I need my survey unit. Ah, uh, crud. Alright, so we need that. Let's go back and get that. I'm going to use... Can I get enough together? Because i really rather just portal my way around, to be honest with you. Uh, metal plates, carbon nanotubes... We could just build one of these. Magnetized ferrite. Back to our starship real quick here. We're going to drop that down over here. Because then we won't have to go anywhere. Magnetized ferret. We need 35, so we'll need... Do we have any pure? We do have pure. We're gonna need a lot more pure, though. But I just need... 70. Well, 140. I want to make both of those two, because we have two cargo containers back there. Zero and one. So... There we go. Good stop, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. Okay, second thing we need to build, we need to build power. So, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put a biofuel reactor down. We need a metal plate. Let's get the biofuel reactor going. Carbon's fine. We'll get that moving along. Pull the magnetized ferrite out, and we're going to build that cargo container. So this one first. And again, these are not staying here permanently. We are going to remove them and put them elsewhere. Okay. Oh, we need a power wire. Right. Okay, we have power. Okay, this one should have everything we need. Let me see what we need. I got some more of those in there. That's good. Please tell me I have more of them. 
Let me guess, I don't have more of them. So those 30 were all we had. Love it. Okay. Do we have any over here? We do have some buried tech right there. Well, let's get that. It's time to do some duplication. I don't think we can get it, can we? Nope, we're going to have to dig it up. Alright. There we go. And filling it back in because, frankly, I don't want to have to deal with it later. Okay. So, we need to start duplication. Not what I was looking for, that's okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. There it is, three salvage data, okay. We want to try to get it as accurate as possible. There we go. And I think that's what I was doing wrong. Somebody else mentioned that to me in another comment, that I was not putting things down in the right place properly. That I needed to make sure that they merged completely and perfectly. So... I'm going to get a little extra out of it this time. There we go. That looks pretty good. And they are correct. So far, that is seems that seems to be the case. I can always use more of this. I can use more carbon is what it is. Uh, let me see, where are you? Let me go back in there for a second. Okay, well, I'll have to worry about it later. There we go. That'll give us about almost 90 of them. There we go. One more time. I want a lot of this stuff, because there's a lot of things I want to get. I'm not going to put any more carbon in there. Well, let me put it in. I was just curious. Uh, let's put 30 in. There we go. Okay, that should give us enough. So, what we want to do is we want to head up to the space station and back. I would like to go ahead and put a portal down here. Um, let's get a couple of... a couple more metal plates. Not of my, uh... My own choosing. I want to go ahead and just buy them real quick. Uh, let's grab all your ferrite, too, while I'm at it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's get one, two, three, four, five more. Get some microprocessors. We're going to need them. Just want to see what else they have in here. They already had magnetized ferrite. That's good. All right. What was this thing like, just out of curiosity? Turn of infinity, huh? Yep. They can infinite and they can stay there for infinity. It was a useless one. All right. Okay. So we need to go. We need to create ourselves a nice little portal here. Base teleporter, if you will. Need some carbon nanotubes real quick. Let me just make those. One, two. There we go. And one more time. We need a wire from here to here. So how are we doing? Okay, good. It's plenty, plenty of juice. Okay, so we're going to go... Do we need to go to the space station? No, we need to go to the anomaly. So we're going to take a quick jaunt up to the anomaly. I just wanted that there because I know we're going to be going back and forth. This will allow us to go back and forth between my base and the anomaly now. I know the anomaly was right over there, but I wanted to pull it in so it was right over me. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to get the rest of the materials that we need to build this base out. 
half hour in, we still haven't leaving, laying, out, laying down a foundation yet. All right. Likes to take me to this side for some reason. That's okay. No, it's true. I do have lots of rewards I could go for. Oh, that was weird. I just walked off the doorway. That was very strange. I just noticed my run juice was running low, so I was going to use my backpack to assist myself over here. All right. Uh, let's see. So here we are. So we definitely want the glass panels up above. I need the small, tim small timbo tim uh, timber. Uh, let's get the stairs, the triangular, triangulars, triangulars, is that a real word? Let's go ahead and grab these as well. It's nice to have all the extras. I'm just going to grab everything here, to be honest. we got plenty of salvage data, so we're just going to grab it all. It always resets and puts my cursor in the middle, so I've got to do some interesting stuff. Yep, I know. I want all of it. There we go. Now let's go over to the right to the roofing materials. Yep, I like all of it, so I'm going to grab all of it. And we're going to need a lot of silicate because we're going to need uh, some glass. We're going to need a lot of glass here. Alright, let's move over. Uh, let's see, I don't think, yeah, we don't need anything more from there. I don't really need, oh, do I have automated traps? I don't have it yet. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Well, we can. That's where you find it, by the way, in case you didn't know. Do I have the, it's not here, is it? It's under power. Posters, we got wall screens and decorative stuff. Flags. We'll worry about decoration later. Spark plug. Do we have barrels here? Got a water tower. I don't think the flaming barrels here. Like I think I got that from Kiln, Kiln Fire Pot. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff. Ooh, vintage tap. See, I get caught up in this. That I like too. The oil burn is a very good idea. The tumbler, Kiln Fire Pot. I'm not worried about the dish. Teapot's pretty cool. Awnings. The gazebo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We want these. Yeah, I'll grab them. We got the, we got the stuff for it, so let's just go ahead and grab it. All these carpets and stuff are really cool. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, why not? I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm doing it anyway. I know. Hey, we only got two more to get. Let's just get them. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'll get all this stuff later. I'm not looking at it because I'm going to end up buying all of it. I do want the sign. I just got the lab lamp by accident. The table lamp is a good idea. Ceiling light is okay. Hanging lamp is very handy. So is the tube light. Uh, I'm going to hold off on those. I want to get the white light. I don't particularly care for the colored ones. I'm not too keen on those. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Got all you guys. All right, so we needed something for our ex. Is it our exosuit? No, it's for our for you. Multi tool. We need a survey device. This. So to get that, we got to get that anyway. So let's go ahead and get it. And kick this out, of course. And it costs nanites to get these. So 320 for the survey device, but we're going to need it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the fishing rig because I can. Just give me a bunch of recipes, too. Oh, you're just upsetting me now, man. There we go. Let me just see. Optical drill... I want to just get back in here and make sure I didn't need anything else. No, that's good. I got the fishing rig because I'm going to be doing some fishing at some point. We don't need exo the exo uh, craft stuff yet. 
Uh, do we need something else in here while we were here? Twitch. Not Twitch. Quicksilver vendor. Don't have any Quicksilver, but, you know, anything you've gotten on... that you've purchased on your other... Saves are available to you here, including your Twitch rewards, your Expedition re rewards as well. So I'm going to take a quick look at the Expedition rewards. Um, yeah, why not? I love I love this armor, so I'm going to go ahead and grab all of it. Uh, what else do we want? Banners? Yeah, sure. Why not? I like the decal. It's been a, it's been a fun expedition. I'm sure you all may have liked it as well. see. Iron panels. Oh, okay. I can get the iron vulture if I want. I can also get a frigate, but of course I don't have a freighter yet, so that's kind of not going to work. Ooh, we can put these wrecks down in the ground. That would be pretty cool. Get those. Mega banners. Uh, decals. Let me just see what else we got here. I can get the starborn runner if I want as well. Okay. We've got posters. Let's look at... Companions, multi-tools, I can get the Atlas Scepter too as well. <laughs> uh, starships, appearances, base building materials, there we go. Decoration, so we can get trophies. Let's see, is there anything in here? Get the, get the, yeah, we can put the tent in there too. Construct skull we can lay on the ground. Crystallized drone... I'll go ahead and grab it. We got plenty of posters, and I'll do that later. Uh, holographic friend. Data display unit, sure. Flaming barrel, that's what I was looking for. Yes. Navigation. Uh, let's see, the wayward cube is always kind of cool to have floating around in your base. Uh, let's see. See, these are the things that you may not be able to get, unfortunately. But I have the ability to get because I've been playing this long enough. Bio lantern. Yes. Yes. Those are plants. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'll worry about them later. Okay. Looks like we get into the stuff that we own already. Okay. All right. And then the expeditions. Okay. Let's go back in one more time and go to the Twitch rewards now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I get so many starships, it's unbelievable. Uh, appearances, I'm not going to worry about just yet. Gestures. Uh, base building parts. Okay, one more time. Spike grass. Illuminated pot. Very good. Ship sign, yes. I'm curious what this will do. Okay, that's just fireworks. Okay, never mind. Keep going. Flowers. Moon sign. Armored anemone. Uh, anemone. Dun, 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 dun. Anemone. Dun, 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 dun. Night tongues. Yep. Synthesis core. Oh yeah, we gotta get the piracy flag. I have I have a reason for that. Pocket reality, ancient conifer. Frozen planter. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, and I think we're getting Let's see here. We got Silver Walker, Wriggling Companions, Tentacle Spire, Watchful Protrusion, Blistering Mushroom. I'm getting all those. Bubble Ducks, yes. No, I didn't say ducks. Ducked. Uh, symmetrical Sails, Offset Sails, Full Sail. Cave Creeper. I don't particularly care for those. Let's go for the Silver Atlas, the Expanding Cube, Silver Astronaut. Definitely want to get the Fireplace. Okay. And it looks like we're done with those. All right. All right, so we're done here. That's going to be going for a while. Now, we've landed here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the teleporter up here, and we're going to go straight back to our base. Boy, and we were just shopping for like 10 minutes there, weren't we? That way, if we have to come back to the anomaly, we can come straight back. And our bases. So we have base alpha and we have master base now, okay? So here we go. Oh. 
shouldn't take me long to get back. Because I'm in the same system, but... There we go. Alright. And we're here. Okay, so my plan is, is that we're going to build the base pretty much right here. Uh, I do like... Ooh, how about on the rise here? No, not quite as flat as I like. Alright, so we're going to do it right here. So to do this, I am going to start by plopping down a cuboid frame. Requires pure ferrite to build these. The only reason I'm doing this is I like to have my base up off the ground. And personally, it gives me a, a better uh, vantage point to build from. And then we can build stairs and stuff like that as we need to. So let's just get that built. Alright, let's lay down a... We should really build a big refiner because we really could use it. Uh, that was what our microprocessors are for. So we need sodium nitrate. We need 100 of that. Uh, let's just drop you down real quick. We need our sodium. There it is. We need 100 sodium nitrate, but what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make 75 of it, and we're just going to duplicate the crap out of this. Wait for it to come to a stop, and we're going to duplicate what it already has in its coffers. That way we're going to get some sodium back at this, uh, out of this as well. Regular sodium. Something we didn't think about, something that someone mentioned to me in one of those comments I was talking about, so... Let's wait for it to turn green. There it goes. I'm going to put you down as close as possible to where this one is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Plenty of sodium nitrate now. And since we can do that, let's do it one more time. This time we're just going to put regular sodium nitrate in here. Oh, sodium. Sodium nitrate. And we're going to make a whole ton more of that because I think we're going to need some as we go. There we go. Okay. So let's make our large refiner, shall we? There she is. Always the wrong way. Always without fail. The wrong. Way. Again, we're not doing anything really special right here. We're just getting everything going. So we need a ton of pure ferrite at this point. We're still going to need a bunch more of that. So I'm going to put... I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Do we have any pure ferrite on us? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, there it is. Let's make a crap ton of it real quick. Let's get the regular ferrite dust. I'm going to make a good amount of that right now. You can actually build another large refiner and duplicate things. Pretty sure that does work. But you can't exactly pick these up. See? Doesn't work the same way. But that's another story. Another story for another time. You have to actually have the refiners within... They have to be touching each other in some certain way. And I never really learned that one because the smaller refiner idea always worked best for me anyway. So we need a crap ton of everything. Um... Let's get up to about 350 here. There we go. And do we have in this glass? We do not, that I can see, have glass. Okay. I'm pretty sure the other one doesn't either. Nothing in there right now. Okay. Here we go. So one more time. We're going to get ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. Pure ferrite. Let's duplicate the crap out of this now. Thought I put two more down, but that's okay. And 
Get it again. That's okay. 948. This will give us a few thousand of it. And that should get us going for a little bit here. That looks good. There we go. One more time, I want to do this with silicate powder. Right there. Because we're going to get some glass out of this too. There we go. That'll give us 50 glass to start with. Let's go ahead and do it, and we can always make more later. All right, so as that's going, we're going to go ahead and lay down a floor here. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to stick with the timber wood floor like I normally do. We're going to go into the B and go ahead and pull back. We're going to put this where we want. So basically, right now, it's a matter of getting everything set up for our own purposes. Now, I do want a pretty decent-sized base here. And we'll be getting rid of that, that uh, construct down there in just a couple minutes. So I'm going to make it a 9 square to start with. Uh, that's just old Minecraft days. I always liked having a 9x9. Nine, nine nine. Um, I do like the fact of having the... Uh, what do you call it? The um, agricultural dude, the farmer, in his own section. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a section for him specifically. Because we're going to have some plants that we're going to be building. We're going to need a bunch of them. There we go. That should be good for him. Um, our landing pad, uh, I'd like to build out this way. And then we're going to have a kind of a portico area right there. And then stairs leading down from here that go down to the water. Uh, so let's get the timber ramp going it's in the ground like that that's a starting point we're just putting the basics down right now so this will just get me started to begin with um i do want let me do a little area over here where's my small timber panels and triangle Hmm, I think I want to reposition that. No, let's leave it there. Hold on. Just kind of a special different viewing area is all this is going to be. Do we want it? Is that the big one? I think that's the big one. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. There. Kind of looks a little bit different. I wanted it to be a little different. That's all. So we're going to go with the timber walls. We can do it over here. I can get it to flip. There we go. One. Not sure why it's having trouble with this here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And are there short ones? There are short ones. That's what I'm looking for. I think I'm going to put that sort of right there. I wish I could resize that. I'm sure that if Beeblebum ever watches this, he's going to be snickering at me about what I just did. I don't want to put that there. Let's put it there. If I could replace this. Right there. And then... Take this and do the same. There, right there. That looks a little bit better. It's not fantastic. Again, I'm not the best glitch builder in the world, obviously. Alright, let's see here. 
Let this work right here. It will. It'll lock right in. Good. And we want one more small one over here. Like that. Okay. Kind of just a small viewing area coming off of there. And it doesn't interfere with anything else, so that's good. Okay. Good build. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see. This one. One. Two. And we're going to put a... Timber arch right on the front of this. If I can get it to go. There we go. I had to go all the way up there. Very nice. Okay. Oh, before I do, that should be done, right? Yes, it is. So as we get down to about 20 glass, we'll go ahead and duplicate some more. All right, I like daylight. Hence the reason why you're going to see a lot of these glass windows everywhere. Now I'm probably going to remove one of those because I need to put my landing pad over there, but we're going to keep going with this for now. I probably need to put a doorway there. And I'll take that one real quick and put that one over here. Okay, it doesn't seem to have too bad of an impact over there. That's not terrible. I can live with it. Some people may not be able to, but I can. All right, and rather than having a full area over there, I'm going to do... Let's see. How about you? Right. Come on, all the way up. You can do it. There. And there. It's one of them. No, no. They're reversible. Okay. Alright. Let's get some more going. So we do want one there. There we go. Oh, okay. I see what happened here. That's interesting. I wonder if I can do that a couple of ways here. Hmm. That's interesting. I kind of like that. That That's a really neat effect going across there. We, of course, want a doorway out to one side, so I'm going to put a doorway over there as well. I don't need a doorway on this side, but we need plenty of lighting. This is going to be the farmer area. Okay, good deal. Now, do we want two-story? I think having a second story is important. So we're going to go ahead and put a second story up over here. We'll figure out that one over there in just a minute. And I want a second story over here, but for different purposes. And it's not going to go all the way up. It's only going to be for half of it. And we'll do a sloped ceiling going the other way. Okay. That looks okay. some reason having the hallway like that looks better to me. So if you're wondering about me developing something that is going to be more functional, this is my way of doing so. So I want a regular door here. See the top changed as well. I want an archway over here. I wonder if I can do that. I think I can. I'm going to do... Come on. There we go. There. That way. We put something over the top of that. I think we can. We. What do you think? We would like this, maybe? Will this work? Hmm. That almost could work. Will we be able to walk through it, though? So we can put two here. Let's see. Can we walk through it? That's the important part. We can. Good. Now I have an open archway leading out. That's nice. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, some more up upper windows, two more of those, and we see we're getting down to ten now. Nine. We do need to make some more glass. We're going to need more. So. Put our glass in here. Rather than making it, we will duplicate it. There we go. There we go. And I think one more batch of it would be a good idea. We're going to need glass later on anyway, so we might as well do it this way now. There we go. Good. All right. So, roofing is next. All right, so as far as roofing is concerned, there's a couple different uh, scenarios we can go with. I can go with a plain timber roof. Uh, pardon me, where is it? Uh, that was here a moment ago. We can go with this if we want. We can put this up here. That will make ample lighting, but it won't be as fancy. So how about we try to go fancy? Should we go with the timber light roof maybe? Or maybe we can go with this in the center. How about that? Let me see what that looks like. Let's take a look. Mm, come on now. All the way up. There you go. You had it. Wow. Okay. Having a little trouble with this one. <laughs> Should love when this happens. I need to put it on this panel right here. Up you go. No, not down there. There you go. Right there. And the one next to it would be great. Okay. I'm going to put one over here. Actually, do we have any corners? It's gable. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Not sure if that's going to work for us, though. But we definitely need a corner. Timber roof corner. This will work. Won't be glass, but that's okay. Yeah, see, that looks much, much better. I think I like that a lot. Uh, there you go, skylight. See? I think that's good. There we go. And a couple more of these. One. Careful. Two. Do another corner here. Let's put a corner over here while we're at it. There we go. And we're going to do skylight here. Got it. Okay. So this leaves this open to what we whatever we want to do. <clears throat> so we could do something like this. Very interesting to be able to do something like that. Uh, let me see what else we got. Is that the same one? It is kind of the same one. I kind of like that. I think that would look really nice. Asymmetrical? Ooh, okay. Let's do that. And what will happen if we put one right next to it? I think I like it. Makes for a very interesting look. Okay, so I think the hallway... We're going to do, instead of sealing it in, let's go with a plain Jane glass panel on the top, like that. And like I said, this is going to be a second story over here, but we don't want to go too tall with it. So I'm going to stick with the plain Jane up here too. And we're going to have to come down from here to here. So let's go all the way across right here. And then we're going to come down from there. I think this is where some of the uh, gables are going to come into play. Like that. Okay, now we can put up a... All the way to the top. You. We're going to put you in there. You in there. 
don't have to do that over here because this is opened up. Alright, so we need to put something in the corner here. Uh, we don't have a glass one. I know it has these gables, but I don't think they work that way. See? It's not going to quite fit. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with that. Yeah, that'll work. One. Should be one right there, too. Okay. So this would be the interior. Let's put a door over here. This is going to be to our landing pad. That's going to go out to the outside world. We don't have to do it that way. We can do it this way. I like that. Did we put doors over here already? Yes, we did. Okay, and an open doorway there. Okay, great. All right, I think we're all set here. Let's take a look at our handiwork. So this looks much better. And that actually goes very well with up there, so that works out well. Okay, good. Ample daylight in here. That'll be great. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks pretty. Oh, we didn't uh, we didn't get this one done here. This is going to be an interesting doorway. Let me see here. No, I'm not doing anything there. Uh, let's see. Already an hour in. I'm going to figure out what we need to do here. We're out of carbon. I just realized that. Isn't that something? How much carbon did we get today? We'll gather up a little bit of carbon. It looks like these plants have a little bit of carbon to them. And we just got ourselves 1,500 carbon within seconds. Okay. 3,000 carbon. And we're done. Unbelievable. Okay. So, what do we want to put here? I want to do it like this. Yep. Well, let me flip it for some reason. Okay, so maybe we should get rid of those there. Oh, you know what this is? Okay, I see what's going on. Hold on. I want to do something different here. Let's get rid of this and these. I'm going to put a regular door in here. I want to go with, I think, this one. Just a plain Jane. But out here, we're going to do something, just like I said, a little bit different. Let's see. There we go. Let's go with the gazebo. What do you say? Down. I really got to be able to see this, so. Object too close. I can't build because I'm literally too close to it. How about now? Yep, now we got it. Okay. So what we want to do here, I'm going to put the gazebo down here. I'll try to line it up as best I can. Again, I'm not fantastic at this. I'm sure there's people out there are much better than me. I think that's lined up. How far back can we go with it? I think that's good. Alright, let's take a look. Yep, that will work. Doesn't come in, does it? No, it doesn't. Alright, good. So we have a nice gazebo over this nice deck over here. Very, very good. We have a nice outside patio area that we can put a barbecue grill down. You know what it needs, though? It needs some awnings. I think that's why I got these awnings. Like this. Look at that. Is that going to be fantastic or what? Can we make them bigger or smaller? Is that possible? Scale? Oh, wow. Yeah. 
we can make these pretty big. So I can... Hold on a second. Let me pull back a little bit. Take a look at this. Yeah, look at that. Put it up about halfway up those towards those windows a little bit. I need to be able to see this here. There we go. Perfect. Right about there. Look at that. I'm loving that. That is great. Very nice. We could put a gazebo right here too, but I think that is good enough for now. Let's take a look at this place at nightfall. Look at how pretty that is. That is fantastic. Alright, so we did say we we're going to get rid of some stuff, right? And we need to build the uh, landing pad over here. So let's go out. We're going to fix up the stairs too. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, it's gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, you don't have anything inside of you, right? Yeah, we got to pick that up. And we're going to pick up the storage containers. I'm going to leave this here for now. Where, we, where do we put the storage containers? And I think that's really the biggest thing here, is that we don't want them... It could look pretty ugly just having them out and about, but we do need to have access to them. Um, I think on this side, not facing that way would be best. Uh, we haven't put a stairwell here. Let's put a stairwell here. There we go. Is that close enough to the ground? No, it is not. So we're going to do something else. We're just going to do that real quick. And it's, gonna, it's not going to seem like it's doing anything, but it actually does help, see? So we got that extra step, if you will. All right, so we're going to put the cargo containers. I think I'd like to put them over here. Um, let's build two for now, the obvious two that we have. Um... I want to build them right outside of this, but we're going to do something to try to camouflage a little. Maybe we can't make them smaller and bigger, right? Uh, let's see. So that'll be good for number zero and number one. So they're right next to each other. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to do... You know what would be really nice? I just had an idea. Turn it around. Face that way. Because the intention is that we're going to make these into their own area. Let's do number two. We don't have magnetized ferret. Okay. We can always expand later on. Let's go ahead and get our building materials out real quick. Okay. I'm actually going to... I'm not going to put it there. That looks like it would be perfect, right? Except it's going to be, you know, obviously not sitting on top of it. We're going to go free placement, and we're going to put it on top of there. And we're going to make, like, a little building here. See what I mean? And then what we'll do is later on, and we can expand this later... We'll put, if you think about it, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that going in the building? Let me just check. No, it is not. Nine. Oh, for crying out loud. Don't do that. And then we'll have one more right here. Right there? No. won't be able to access that one. That's the problem. So it'll be one, two... Oh, look at that. Interesting. They're not quite big. So it'll be three... Oh, interesting. We should be able to get all ten of them in here. Okay. That's fine. So now I'm going to do walls here that are going to be enclosed. Except we're going to hook them up at the top. You notice they're not going all the way to the ground. Right? Hmm. 
All right, we may have to change things up a little bit. I thought we had this right. Okay. But basically, that's the gist of how this base was being created. I'm going to have to inter interrupt that video just a little bit due to some um, technical difficulties I had with the recording. Uh, it's very shortly after that, for some reason, the video simply stopped recording. OBS claimed it was recording it. It showed the picture continuing on along with the audio and everything in the video seemed to be working fine but for some reason it never recorded properly and when I tried to upload the video it well it failed to upload at all. So I literally had to take it apart with a uh, video editing software to see what happened. So we've kind of pieced this part into the end here to show you basically what we have done and what we've accomplished. As you can see, this little upstairs room is pretty much complete at this point. Um, and so I've moved everybody over as well into this base now. So everything's set up and ready to go. We don't have our, our farmer yet, but we're working on him. I do have a nice outside area over here that I've created. Just got it started as well as the... Uh, the gazebo and uh, landing pad and everything over there is all set up. You were uh, watching me make the uh, building over here, which is going to house our cargo containers. As we get more of them, we'll put them in here and we're going to line them all up. It'll be a separate room. I'm probably going to put some floor down. I'm thinking about doing a stone floor over here. As well as having the power generation room right here. So we got the solar panels in here, a bunch of batteries, everything's all set and ready to go over here, and everything's been moved over. So everything is ready to go in here, and this is pretty much what the base is going to look like now. So I hope you have enjoyed what you did see of the video. I've completed everything I could, considering all that's happened at this point, and uh, that's where we're going to have to leave off. So, hey, thank you for watching what you were able to see. Uh, Please feel free to hit the like button if you like. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you if you would. Uh, that would also be pretty awesome. So, again, thank you very much for watching. We're going to have more special videos as time goes by. But for now, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.